The Fringe Festival continued today with the art in the parking lot at the Roberta Bondart Pavilion, where people gathered to watch various acts such as singing and busking. On TV was on the scene. Um, today we have the Art in the Park, uh, where we have artists selling their work. We have the Northern Ontario Book Fair, which is authors coming to sell their work. They're also here for signings of the books if you buy one. We have free kids uh, fringe activities. We have buskers and uh, we have a magic show. We have the stage tonight, a uh, full lineup of free music down at the pavilion. And we also have live theater shows all along Queen Street. Do you find that there's a lot of talent coming out of the zoo? Absolutely. This city is so full of talent, like right from the little kids all the way to um, the seniors. There's so much talent here for sure. And why do you think it's so important to uh, showcase all that talent, I guess? I know it's an obvious question, but... I think because we are limited here in Sault Ste. Marie for ways for artists to show their work and to get their name out there to the public. So it's a great way every summer to have them be able to participate in an event like this just to get their name out there to people. Why torches? Uh, oh, torches, uh, they just, um, I, I just enjoy doing torches. Uh, it's a really good tool, it captures the audience, and uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun, and uh, everyone likes it. So, yeah. Uh, uh, this is my uh, second uh, second year doing this Fringe Festival, so yeah, and it was uh, just began last year, so yeah. What do you think of the Sioux and the Fringe? Uh, the Sioux, uh, it's uh, it's a pretty nice town. You got some uh, really good nature up here and uh, nice tent, and uh, it's uh, you know people are pretty uh, pretty good spirited uh, up here. Uh, even though the crowds are small, but we got some good spirits, so yeah.